emotional intelligence versus artificial AHR raise your hand here, who in this pandemic had to look for a job, and did endless tests on various platforms of artificial intelligence, artificial AHR? Yes, there is a truth that we learn from technology. The machine does not replace man. That's right. Parable, a CEO once deployed a goal recognition software. The following month, he highlighted the HR manager to dismiss the last placed in the ranking. The manager went to the resignation meeting, but made it clear that if she was convinced, she would not fire him. Without the employee knowing the real reason, the employee agreed to talk in a canteen in front of the office. The manager was soon convinced of the mistake of firing him, he had been there from the beginning, and had completely donned the company's shirt. At the end of the meeting she dismissed him. What? More like that? She wasn't convinced of the mistake? The next day, the next day the HR manager came to the CEO and said, I quit. The CEO snapped, but I'm not going to fire you. Convince me. She replied, yesterday I fired the best employee of this company, and today I found out that we weren't up to that professional. As an HR manager I am convinced that this company is not good enough for its employees. That's why I resign. Story Moral It's no use investing in technology to draw the attention of the competition if it loses the most precious asset, the people. If you hire 100% online, no human interference, and you trust the software will deliver you a superman or wonder woman at the end of the recruitment. You are very wrong. Many of the emotionally intelligent professionals, when faced with online tools, soon drop out. Don't be happy about it, they follow a natural trend. The more artificial your HR is, the less human you attract. B-tip, don't make any